So it's really easy to spend way more money than you have to when purchasing a domain. It's something that for most people, they maybe only do once or a couple times in their life. And so you do a little bit of research, buy your domain, and maybe never realize that you could be saving five, 10, 20, $30 per year if you purchase from the right place and you don't add a bunch of things that you shouldn't have to pay for. So why not spend as little as possible in purchasing your domain? That's why we reached out to porkbun.com asking them to sponsor today's video. We discovered Porkbun a little over a year ago and we've been purchasing all of our domains there. It's what we recommend to our clients, our students, and here on YouTube. So if you want to not watch the rest of this video and learn about the common mistakes people make, you could just go to porkbun.com and save a bunch of money. Also, if you wanna save an additional dollar on a bunch of domains in the first year, check out the link in the description below. But if we just get started, I'll walk you through how I think people end up purchasing their domain from places that are a bit more expensive. And so the very first issue is the businesses with the highest marketing budgets are probably the most profitable businesses, meaning that you're paying more than you have to for your domain. So if it's something you see ads for all over the place, chances are it's not the cheapest option. So here is how I would think about starting a business. And so we came up with the name for the Figco. We wanted to see, hey, is the .com available? Obviously .co, .io, .net, and a bunch of others work for global businesses, but to check that and then to check the social media account. So let's just go to name check, which I think is a good resource to see what all is available. So the idea that I had today is basically Jeff Thalen written backwards because we're gonna find that that's available in most places. So if we search here, what you're gonna notice is, here we go, all these different um, domains, .com, .org, .la, .tv, all these I could potentially buy. And the other important piece when you're choosing a name is are the usernames available on social media. So it looks like basically everywhere username is available. TikTok, I just don't think is working, it's grayed out. And so if you went to a resource like this, you're like, I can go get the social media uh, usernames and let's just go buy the domain right here. Super, super easy. What will happen now? So here we are taken to domain.com and I'll just walk you through some of the things that could potentially cost too much. So right here, you can see that we're being signed up for two years. So when you're buying a domain, you're renting it, you're paying for it annually, essentially one year, two years, five years, whatever it is. And so you have the domain purchase, which obviously if you're looking at it in multiple years, the math gets a little bit tougher to figure out what you're paying. So let's go back to just one year. So $9.99 for the domain. And then you see privacy plus protection. So this is something that's an add-on for another $9 per year. And as you're gonna see later on, Porkbun and others do not charge for privacy protection. But let's just go to continue and see how the rest of the process works. So right here, you want a discount Google Workspace email. You can get that right here. And then you have a website builder for starting at $2 per month. So do you want a website builder or not? Maybe, do you want hosting another $1.99 per month potentially. Do you need an SSL certificate? You probably don't even know what that is if I had to guess. And so do you wanna spend another $3.33 per month for that? Do you want site lock? It's another $3.99 per month. And so all these different things, do you need them? Do you not need them? Guess what? You don't need them, especially right now. You wanna first decide what type of website you're building. Is it with Squarespace? Is it with WordPress? figure all that out first and figure out, hey, do you want to go with Google Workspace or other places? And so there's just all these different things that in some way are saying, hey, you want to get this because, you know, site lock, there could be some problems with hackers and malware. So add that on. And before you know it, let's just go and add a couple of these and see what happens. So let's go add, we'll add hosting, the SSL certificate and site lock, let's say. And before you know it, there we're going to be paying hundred dollars i'm not sure where the discount comes in but hey that's nice but that's a hundred dollars for one year so that i don't want you to be paying especially if you have no idea if you need this stuff so this is kind of the issue that you're going to find a lot of places is one say privacy protection two how much does the domain cost per year and this is just year one and then there's all these other potential things you could add to your purchase the next thing that with this example that I don't see anywhere on the page 
renew. So at least for the the website, I don't see anywhere that it says the renewal price. So let's just go to Google. So domain.com renew, renewal price. So this is the work you have to do to make sure that, to figure out not just what is the price for year one or the couple of years you buy immediately. So if we search for dot com, so here's dot com. So this is the first year. And then for year two, three, five, 10, 20, or however long you have this, you're gonna be paying $15.99. So six bucks more than the first year price. So that's kind of the first process you maybe go through. You come to a page, hey, is this available? What's the price you end up paying? You know, I think another person may just go to buy a domain and here are a bunch of options. So you see here, GoDaddy, Squarespace, are the two ads that we're seeing right now. Down below that you have Google Domains, GoDaddy, Google Domains, Namecheap, Domain.com, which we just saw, Bluehost. So there's a whole bunch of options here. Which one should we go with? The one that I probably everybody's heard of is GoDaddy. So, hey, they have to be great, right? Let's just open up this in another tab. Um, and let's see again. So we'll just copy and paste Jeff Thalen backwards and search. Okay, so GoDaddy, it looks like $2.99 per year. So that's less than the last one we saw per, per year. And as you can see with this crossed out number, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a hint. That's what it's gonna cost to renew for the following year. So year two, three, five, et cetera, which again is even higher than domain.com. But if you're like, hey, with GoDaddy, let's add this to the cart and let's see what happens. Okay, so we have the domain, so it's giving us a price for two years. And so two years would be $22.98, so around one or eleven fifty dollars per year. Again, let's just go back to one year because it makes things a little bit easier to think through with the math. So that's for one year. And then you can see, at least with GoDaddy, the price is expensive, but they're clear with the renewal price. I don't have to Google to find the page that has the renewal price and then full domain protection. And so you can see here, again, there's this, especially for someone that doesn't know any of this, there's this kind of fear factor that's added into it, like 170,000 times per year, that's how often criminals attempt to steal domains. So you don't want your domain stolen, please give us more money. So to give you an idea, hackers are gonna steal it. You can have two-factor authentication. And guess what, with Porkbun, you can just add that, there's no extra cost to it probably other domain registrars are the same way. Um, but again, there's this like, give us more money or something bad is gonna happen. But let's just say we want to purchase this, what are the next steps? All right, so we do have an account here. So I unfortunately had a, a domain that I left here, ended up paying $20 a couple of weeks ago, more than twice what I should have been spending. So let's sign in and see what the rest of the process looks like. Okay, again, the 170,000 times a year, someone's gonna steal your domain. Uh, start your website for free. There's email. So do you want Jeffrey at this, at Jeff Thalen backwards? There's a plus, there's a business professional with Microsoft Office. Um, so it's one of those things where do you really need to be thinking about this right now or are you being pressured into adding a bunch of things? So I don't, I'm not gonna get email right now. And you know what? the $10 per year, or even better, ultimate domain protection for 15 bucks. So let's just say no there and continue to the cart. And so here we go, year one, 299, renews for $20. And I, I think they realize that some website stuff and other things are priced monthly, such as hosting. And so you're seeing, hey, there's a lower number per month versus seeing the annual number. You know, do I wanna add the domain protection in and again, and so, you know, there's just a bunch of things like, do you want to add the .net, the .co, the .info? And so, you know, if I was ready and wanted to purchase. So over time, you're gonna be spending more with GoDaddy, even though the first year price was lower, but even compared to domain.com, you're spending four extra dollars per year for all of the renewals. So that's one way. And then the other thing, the third way, I think that you could potentially fall in the trap of maybe being a little bit lazy or just taking the convenient route is let's just say you wanna build your website with Squarespace. So our website built with Squarespace, nothing wrong with the domain builder, we recommend it all of the time, but is it really where I would say you should 
purchase your domain. So Squarespace, if you go all the way down to the bottom, you're gonna see domains. So let's just look for the same domain and you're gonna see .com available $20 per year. One of the nicer things with Squarespace, if you decide you're building your website here, let's say, is if you pay for an annual business plan or above, you get the domain free for one year. So year one, you save 20 bucks, didn't have to pay anything. But again, you're spending $20 per year versus if you spend a few minutes connecting your domain from pork bun or others to Squarespace, you could be spending half of this. So in the, or less than half of this. So after two years, you're already earning money. And then for future years, you're saving 10 bucks per year. So let's now go to pork bun and you'll have a better idea what I'm referring to. So maybe after following one of these processes that I ran you through, purchasing a domain and then spending too much year in and year out, it's something you kind of forget about. So you have the domain, it renews automatically and you just pay it year in and year out. You can transfer your domain. We have a whole video about that that I'll link to up above right here. But so let's just show you what the process looks like here and why this is so much better. Also, if you don't wanna just take my word for it, check out all of the reviews for pork bun. So let's search for a domain here. And you can see they have, you know, an equally long list of different domains using this name, the .com, again, as available. And what you see right here very, very clearly before going on is the price for year one and the renewal price. So if we go to add this to the cart, it's now in the cart. Let's check that out. Okay, so here's the cart with pork bun. And as you can see, there's not all these kind of scare tactics at all this stuff, or the hackers are going to steal your domain or anything of the sorts. You see, hey, do you want to add more.com domains? Maybe you do. Um, the email address you can add, but if you click on the question right here, you can see every domain registration comes with three months of free email hosting. So you can add this, test it out, decide if you want it. Maybe you want to say, hey, I want to use Google Workspace you can test it out for free versus having to pay for something right here when you're just getting started. You don't know if you need any of this. The same thing with hosting. There are a couple of different hosting options. They have a website builder, and I think they put it very succinctly along the right-hand side here. So who is privacy? So a lot of domain registrars are going to charge you with this. Basically what it means is there is a database of who owns what domain. And if you have who is privacy, what that means is it's just going to put pork buns contact information versus yours. So if you have a side hustle, you work from home, you don't have a work phone, work email, work address that you want to share with the entire world. You want who is privacy, which with pork bun and others you can get for free. Also the SSL certificate, as you saw with domain.com, they're trying to add, you know, to spend, there's three different options for the SSL certificate. I have no idea what the differences are. It is free here. Also, a lot of website builders will have it included for free. But if you got scared and just added it to the purchase, you're paying for something that you don't need. So forwarding your email, URL forwarding. And then you see here a handful of different trials to see is this right for you or not. So site builder trial, web hosting trial, email hosting trial, test it out, see if you like it. Now let's click continue to finalize the purchase. I'm gonna be paying $9.13 for this year and for each additional year, no crazy renewal prices here. With the money that I'm gonna be saving, maybe I'll get another mug from their merch store. Also, don't forget you can save an additional dollar on a bunch of domains from porkbun.com in the first year if you use the link in the description below. If you already own a domain and by watching this video, you realize you're spending way too much money, don't worry, you can transfer your domain to porkbun.com and get the same low prices. If you wanna learn how to do that step by step, check out this video up above. And if you wanna see how Pork Bun compares to eight other domain registrars, check out the video below. Hope to see you in those and future videos. Bye-bye.